Assalamu alaikum, I really hope you're doing well. Well, in today's video, we are going to address one of the problems that most students ask about, which is, how can I start revising for a PhD? I have talked about this several times in my videos, and I have provided or at least suggested a way to do so. But still, it feels that students are really not convinced. Most of the time I find, how can I start? And I say my answer is too simple. First, gather all previous questions then answer, then answer. When they tell me that I can't do that because I have to read first, but I always say, no, you can't just do general reading like this because it's going to be problematic. So you really need to listen to this video, all of it, if you want really to succeed. What I'm going to tell you now is tried. I have tried it with several groups and I, I can tell you that it has really yielded good results, at least for me or the students that they have succeeded so please pay attention to what i'm going to say so why you need first to gather all the questions because when you gather all the questions of the phd previous exams it's going to you are going to start on called purposeful reading or kind of oriented reading oriented reading is going to have six benefits do you remember remember that it has going to have six benefits i have illustrated that the first one is you going to find efficiency of use of time which is very important number two you would have targeted understanding number three you're going to have retention and recall and number four would have strategic strategic information gathering and number five critical thinking and analysis and number six of course you are going to gain confidence and this is going to reduce anxiety so we, let's start talking about each one of them so the first one of course because you have a limited time, you have a very limited time. Even if you start now and you think that and the exam is in December, let's say, you still, it's time limit, it's, you are very limited in time. Because it's simply if you are going to start reading a book, let's say 300 pages, it's going to take you at least a week. And if you want to really understand it, maybe two weeks. If you want, you don't have time. So this is why since you have a large amount of materials, if you go, if you are going to do kind of oriented reading, only read what you need. So you will have uh, so many questions. I'm uh, going to pose these questions, and of course, simply are going to read what you are going, what you want. For example, you see a particular concept, you go to that concept, and you try to you uh, you try directly to answer that. For example. For instance, if we look at the questions here in front of me, we are going to find, uh, this is what I'm going to share with you anyway, kind of 64 questions. And I do believe that these 64 questions are really going to to uh, include all the concepts that you need. Of course, maybe you will have new subjects, but at the end, these concepts are going to be repeated. For example, you just simply go and try to find uh, try to answer each one of them. That's why I say you are very limited in time. So you simply go to each question and try to answer. For example, we started, let's say, for example, uh, eight, could ICT substitute for the role of teachers in the EFL classroom, argue, and etc. So you try to gather and answer all the concepts. For those who are telling me that, okay, I don't know, but you will know. You simply, for example, when you look for ICT, you go to any book and you try to say to find the definition of ICT, the advantages, the disadvantages, etc. So this is really important if you do this kind of, let's say, for example, oriented reading. As I said again, it's very, very important not to just start like in general reading, but you try, you try kind of uh, purposeful reading. So it's Okay, we talk about number two. Number two, I said we, it is you, we want to focus on target understanding. What do you mean by targeted understanding? Because we have so many concepts, we want to understand these concepts and how these concepts can be incorporated in an exam. So typically, you are not just reading for the sake of reading or trying to understand for the sake of understanding. You are trying to answer an exam and you want to be the best student in that exam. This is why it's so important you do an oriented reading. Number three, retention and recall. You see, if you do just a, a general reading, you simply are going to read a lot. So you may read a book and simply you can't memorize a book. And this is very important. 
Because at the end, we need kind of memorization, some kind of, some kind of retention in order to answer the exam. But if you do a very purposeful, a very oriented reading, you don't want to have a problem. If there is more chance that you are going to answer, you won't find a problem because you will remember the answer. Number four, because we talked about strategic information gathering, because here yeah, what we are doing, we try to gather information as much as possible. We want to be so no so knowledgeable. So if you read one book, trust me, you will be very, very limited. Because if we suppose that you are going to read books this entire time, you will be you'll be a good reader, yes, but not a good writer. And probably, probably you won't have much information also. And of course we talked about critical thinking and analysis. If when we when we answer so many questions, we will, we will be able to understand that connection between the questions and how this question is related to that and what's the aim behind the question itself. So what is very, very important. And number six is confidence. You see, if you just read and read and read, it feels that there is no horizon to your reading. And simply, it feels that the more you read, that the more is there and you have to read more. And trust me, you'll be frustrated. So, but when you answer the questions and you set the goal, let's say, for example, in this time span, I'm going to answer like 50 questions or 40 questions. Trust me, you will have this confidence. So please, please, for those who are asking me, how can I do it? This is the way I'm doing it. I have supervised few groups over these years. Alhamdulillah, some of them succeeded. And we try to help them. We really try to help them. In what? It simply oriented them and how to read and how to write. And you have to remember, it's about writing more than the reading. You see, because you are going to have information, how you deploy this information is what matters. So thank you so much. Please subscribe, follow, share to your friends. I need this page to go bigger. So thank you so much. See you inshallah on my next video. Goodbye.